What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can optimize your device manager for better delay, better performance, and more. Now, before I get into it, I just want to say please be careful with the settings we apply. Make sure that you are applying the ones I show you in the video and not accidentally clicking on something else as this could cause issues. Now, if you do happen to run into any issues, just go ahead and re-enable the devices that we disabled and that will fix any issues you have. Now to start out, let's go ahead and window search device manager and open it up. We can head on over to our network adapters and look for anything that starts with WAN. Any of these WAN mini ports you can disable and just make sure that you aren't disabling your core, you know, ethernet or Wi-Fi card. Next we're going to go to system devices, which some of these I'm going to tell you I won't have, but if you don't have a certain setting that I say, just go ahead and skip over it, it's not a problem. So first up, it's Composite Bus Enumerator. Go ahead and disable this. Next up, we have Direct Memory Access Controller, which I don't have, but disable that if you have it. Then we have High Precision Event Timer. You can disable this. And then we also have Microsoft System Management BIOS Driver. Go ahead and disable this. And then scroll all the way to the bottom. Look for System Timer and System Speaker, and we can disable both of these. I don't have System Speaker, but if you have it, go ahead and disable it too. Then lastly, we're going to do UM Bus Root Enumerator. So, now that we have all these disabled, you are good to go, but I want to quickly explain what this is actually doing before I end off on the video. Now, when it comes to optimizing your performance, the little things really add up. Windows, by default, runs a lot of background processes, some of which are useful, but many just take up resources without giving you anything in return. Things like extra system timers, unused network adapters, or legacy drivers might not seem like a big deal, but they can actually introduce delays, CPU overhead, or even cause conflicts. So by disabling these, you're cuddling down on unnecessary processing, which means fewer interruptions, lower input latency, and just a smoother overall experience. Now, don't expect some magical FPS boost. But this really can improve your system responsiveness and make it feel more snappy in games like Fortnite. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was a bit of a shorter one, but I just wanted to get a little tutorial out for you guys. I'll be uploading new videos every Saturday or Sunday, so look for a video from me on the weekend. But that's all I have for you guys today, and I will catch you all later.